Welcome to the Improved SpeechBite website. Here are some tips on how to search on the SpeechBite database. On the home page you can now search straight away by using the simple search box. If you want to search for articles on aphasia you can simply type aphasia in here. Click go and find that there's a plethora of articles on the database. In order to refine your search and find the most relevant articles for your needs, you can use the advanced search page. That can be found on the home page here or under searching speech byte here. Click advanced search. So if you are searching for articles about constraint induced language therapy for people with aphasia after a stroke, you can refine your search by using the keyword combined with the drop down boxes like this. In keywords, we'll put constraint, and under speech pathology practice area, we'll choose aphasia. Under type of intervention, we will choose language therapy, and within this population, we'll choose stroke. And hit search, and the results should look like this. So you can view individual article details by clicking on the title link like this. Uh, you can also sort your results by using the sort drop down box here and you can sort by author, title, source, year, research design and rating. The default is by research design and speech bite lists um, the results in order of highest level of evidence first. So by research design the systematic reviews are listed first then followed by the randomized control trials non-randomized control trials case series single case designs and then clinical practice guidelines and then within those they're then further sorted again by rating score so for example randomized control trial with a rating of 6 out of 10 will be listed before a randomized control trial with a rating of 5 out of 10 so looking through the results, there are articles that you'd like to look at further. So you can select them by choosing individual articles, or you can select all there and we'll select them all. I might just choose these couple. And we want to look at our selected articles. So we've got five articles selected. I might actually choose to remove one so we'll refresh and we'll only have the four articles then. Okay now that you've got a list of articles to look at to keep a copy of this list there are several options you can email, print, save a text file or export. So we might export into an EndNote file so all we need to do is choose a filter We'll open the file and choose a filter. We want the RIS. So Reference Manager RIS, choose that. And it imports our articles like that. Okay. Um, if when you're using the advanced search page you're not sure what some of the terms include, try looking at the glossary here. It lists all of the indexing terms used within the database so that you can determine which terms might be helpful to select when searching. The other place to look for help is here. We've written up some key tips on searching and different ways in which to search using the keyword text box and drop down boxes in order to get the best results when you search speech by.